Okay, so let's get things started for baking. So I'm going to just select all the low poly items and I'm going to just right click, well, go to face select, right click and hit triangulate first. And it should do a pretty good job, but in case something goes wrong, we can definitely just go back and fix it. And another thing is that um, make sure you save a different Blender file just in case things go wrong. And now I think we can already just go to the high poly. So for the high poly, everything should be okay. I think there was just this one instance where I forgot to fill this part. And let me just try to fix this. I think I can just get away with dissolving these vertices. So now everything else should be okay. Just make sure everything shade is smooth and nothing. Okay, so it should be good. One thing is that I actually want to join these two together. So select the both of these and hit control J. Yeah, should be fine. Okay, so for now, let's start by selecting all of this, going to object, convert to mesh. And now it is all converted to a mesh. I'm going to just select everything and just go into edit mode and just triangulate all the faces. Okay, so everything's triangulated. And the reason is because um, in Substance Painter, whenever you bring something in, it will triangulate it a different way than what Blender's used to. Okay, so I can definitely remove this empty already. And let me just bring back the low poly. So this empty, I can definitely remove as well. Well, I guess I can't. Okay, so for now, I can just apply the array apply this mirror and I can definitely see wherever I have modifiers. So I'll just apply this and it should have, for example, if I were to go to the UV editor, everything should be like, um, stacked like they are. I'm going to apply. I can apply this array as well. This one just hitting control a. Oh crap. So this one had a bevel modifier on it. So I'll just remove it, apply this, apply this. Just make sure you don't unwrap everything again. And what is this? So this one, I don't think I'll need anymore. So I'll just delete this. And now if I were to delete this empty, should be fine now. So I have this one as well, and I'm just gonna remove the bevel. And now it should be all be good. So it's time for us to start grouping things. So I'll just select this, this, this one, and this part. I'm just making sure that I'm selecting things that aren't touching each other. So I'll just select all of these and hit control J and join them. So this will be the first one. So I'll call this um, set one and I'll call this set one underscore low. So I'll just hide them and I'll start working on the next batch. So this one, this one. So I'm just selecting them all one by one as I go and just making sure that I'm not selecting things that overlap. And I'll just select this one and I can select the vents. Okay, so this one can be the second set. So I'll hit Control J to join them and I'll call this set B, I mean set two. And score low. And I'll hide them and all of these I believe they're all not overlapping too much. I'll just join all of these. I'll select them and hit Control J. And this one will be set three. Underscore low. So um, same thing for the high poly. Just make sure that you have the same um, objects. So I'll go to the high poly. I'll select this. 
and I'll just move it to the side and then I'll just hide this. Oops. I'll just hide the rest of these. Okay, so on a high poly, I'll select this, 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 the one on the top, the side ones, these two, this one and this one, this one on the back, this trigger, as well as this. So it should be all of these. And I'll just hit Control J to join them. And I'll just call this one set one underscore high. Okay, so now I can just hide this. And let me just do the same thing where I would just select the second set. And I'll just move it over to the left. And I'm going to make sure that I select it all for the high poly. And it should be fine now. So now set one, two, three, set one, two, three. So I guess I had it lowercase on this one. Okay, so it's time to start baking. And I'm going to just box select all the low poly objects. Go into File, Export, FBX. And make sure that you set your limit to selected objects and go into geometry and turn the smoothing to face only. And for now, I'll just set it to, um, I'll just call it uh, minigun underscore low. And for the high poly, you would call it underscore high. So now let's export it and I'll just hide this and bring back the high poly. So now I'll just select the, all of these. Go to file, export, FBX, and same thing. It should keep your settings from before. And this one, you'll call minigun underscore high. It'll take a while to export, so I'll just pause it until it's ready. Okay, so now that it is done exporting, just turn on your Substance Painter and create a new project. And in my case, I'll set the resolution to 4K and make sure that you select your low poly, so minigun underscore low. And also just hit OK. Now, um, one thing I like to do is to just go into my display settings and just turn on temporal anti-aliasing. It just makes the line look a lot smoother. But if your PC can't handle it, it's fine. Bake mesh maps. Go into output size and for starters, just put it at 2K whenever you're doing a test bake. And set your high poly mesh to the underscore high file. And for now, set your match to mesh name. And that'll just make sure that it exploded and some parts, the, the parts that are close to each other aren't overlapping against each other. So for now, I'll just hit bake and it'll take a while. So I'll pause the recording until it's done. Okay, so once your test bake is done, just look around your mesh and see if you have anything, any problems. And um, maybe over here, you'll see that there's a bit of overlapping and that's probably because my ray distance was a bit too high. And just make sure that you don't have any like weird seams around the, the mesh. Sometimes you will, but for now, I'll just um, ignore it for now. And I guess I'll just go to big mesh maps and turn my array a bit lower just to fix that one problem. So 0 0.005 and maybe this one, I'll set it to 0 0.005. And now I think the bake will be okay. So I'll just set my anti-aliasing to something super high, like four times four and set my output size to 4K. And now I'll do a bake and I'll pause it until it's ready. Okay, so now it's done baking and let me just take a look. So everything looks pretty fine. 
and I'm liking the way the fabric is looking as well. Definitely have some problem in some areas, but for now, let's just stick with this bake. So just remember to save your substance file and then we will start texturing. 